In this video I am going to explain what proteins are and how they work in our body. Do you drink protein shakes? Are you sure they are good for your body? What is the best smoothie for you? Come on I'll show you. What are proteins? Proteins, one of the three macronutrients, are molecules made up of amino acids. In nature there are 20 of these amino acids, however our body only produces some of them naturally, so we must get the rest through food. We classify proteins into two types, complete and incomplete. Complete proteins are those molecules that contain 20 amino acids, while incomplete ones will therefore be those that lack one or more of these amino acids. Proteins of animal origin, such as meat, eggs, and milk, are complete, while those of plant origin, such as proteins containing legumes, cereals, and nuts, are incomplete. In terms of energy, proteins contain 4 kilocalories per gram, so they have the same energy intake as carbohydrates and less than fats, which provide 9 kilocalories per gram. How much protein do I have to take? The WHO places the minimum physiological protein intake between 0.8 and 1 gram per kilo of body weight per day. However, as the nutritionist Holmes Place states, specific situations such as physical activity or some pathologies may lead to higher or lower protein needs. For example, a greater volume of physical activity implies greater muscle wasting, especially if strength exercises are performed. The latter is our case, so the daily amount of protein that we must take is higher than that consumed by the rest of the population. Studies in this regard suggest that the optimal protein intake, whether our goal is to increase muscle mass or to define the existing one, is around 1.5 grams of protein per kilo of body weight. Holmes also states that, in older people it is also advisable to increase the amount of protein, since it prevents muscle loss. This can be extrapolated to the case of someone who is in the definition stage, therefore in a caloric deficit, and whose objective is to preserve as much muscle mass as possible. Is it bad to take a lot of protein? Like everything in life, consuming any macronutrient or vitamin in excess has negative effects. If we take proteins in very high amounts, the body will not be able to process them and if this occurs continuously, it could lead to kidney or liver problems. However, the belief has spread that a slightly higher than average protein intake is harmful to health and this is totally false. You can safely consume around 1.5 grams of protein per kilo or even a little more. However, numerous studies have shown that a daily protein intake of more than 2 grams per kilo of weight does not provide benefits when it comes to building muscle mass. In addition, it is very likely that there are imbalances and deficiencies in your diet since you will be allocating too high a proportion of your daily calories to protein. Likewise, nutritionists advise us that a part of our protein sources be of vegetable origin, legumes, nuts, cereals, since apart from the fact that there are options that are very rich in protein, they are rich in fiber and minerals. Proteins of animal origin, on the other hand, are usually rich in saturated fat and cholesterol, so we must watch the amount we consume and opt for white meat and low-fat dairy products when possible. What are protein shakes? Protein shakes are a great way to quickly and conveniently add a healthy dose of protein. It should be noted first of all that the purpose of protein shakes is not to replace meals. Nor are they miracle products as many people believe. For the simple reason that you start taking them, you will not see your muscles grow. For this you will need good training, a good diet and perseverance, a lot of perseverance. In short, protein shakes are an extra contribution that will help us meet our daily protein or caloric needs, or a way to adjust the distribution of macronutrients in our diet. Types of protein shakes. In this category there is also a wide range of products, whey proteins, casein, egg protein, rice. The supplementation sector is in continuous development and products are constantly being launched on the market. Beef-based protein powder is one of the products that have come onto the market in recent years that has managed to capture my attention. The energy value of protein is always the same, 4 kilocalories per gram, whatever its origin. However, the body does not assimilate 100% of the protein we eat and the percentage of use does vary depending on the source. This is called biological value. The protein food with the highest biological value is the egg, from which the body is capable of assimilating 94% of its protein content. Veal meat, under optimal conditions, can reach practically the same values while the biological value of the protein from milk is 60%. Even so, the fact that some of the most important brands have not released any product based on beef protein makes me wary, so I usually opt for the two classic options, whey protein and casein. Difference between whey protein and casein. 
The difference between these two types of protein is the absorption time. While whey protein is very quickly absorbed, which makes it ideal as a post-workout shake, casein offers a constant flow of protein for several hours, so it is indicated to be taken before going to sleep or in the morning together. With the first meal of the day, both are good options, the decision of which to take will depend on which of the two best suits your schedule. In my case I opt for casein because I go to the gym late and my post-training meal is dinner. But in other times that I have gone to train earlier, I have opted for whey. Some studies indicate that the best option is to combine both since they offer different benefits and taking both you benefit from all of them. But this may be too expensive. Finally, I must tell you that when it comes to proteins, the saying that cheap is expensive is usually true. If you compare a little you will see that there are big differences between the prices of the different brands. Although it is not necessary that you buy the most expensive of all, keep in mind that the cheapest options may be opting for lower quality raw materials to be able to offer such attractive prices.